Hey guys, what's up? It's me and Marie, and today I'm gonna be telling you about or showing you or I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be telling you how to gain 300 subscribers in a month. Or at least how I gained my first like 300 in a month. Technically it was like a month and a week, but I just thought I would do this video maybe to help out other people and also I just thought it would be an interesting video because people at school are like, oh my god, your channel's growing really fast. Cause I started my channel like a month ago. It'll be two months on the 18th of May. It's May. Yeah, because today's single de Mayo, if y'all... Okay, anyway. So I started my channel about a month and two weeks ago. And I've gained about 320 subscribers at this moment right now. If you want to know how I did that and some tips that I have, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that like I did or that I wanted to do before I even started my channel was I wanted to make sure that I had a really good camera. That was like my main thing. I was like, I need to have the like, not the best camera, but I need to have like a um, a good camera because I want to put out good quality content and I don't want to like post any videos that I'm not proud of. I got the full HD Canon like creator kit thing and I got the what is it the Canon Rebel T6i and like the lens I use is just the 18 by 55 millimeter zoom lens like the kit lens that comes with it and it also came with the Rode mic that I'm actually using right now and it came with a 32 gigabyte yeah gigabyte um SD card and that's what, all like all the stuff I'm using oh, right and the, the next thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that I had good editing software like I wanted so as you guys know if you watched my first video which hit 3k views already i think it's at like 3.2k and i'm like oh my god that was my first video like wow like <laughs> that that blew my mind it blew my mind but yeah i got my macbook air and my aunt actually got it for me currently paying her back like i said i was in that video you know how it goes so i just i <laughs> I am currently using iMovie to edit. That's what I'm using to edit this video. That's what I've used to edit my past videos. And that's what I'm gonna continue using until I wanna spend money on Final Cut Pro, which probably isn't gonna be for a long time. So yeah. The third thing I did for my videos and my content and all that stuff was I wanted to make sure I had good thumbnails. Everyone says this and it's true. If you have a good thumbnail, like people are most likely gonna click on your video. So I use pickmonkey.com to edit my thumbnails and everything and yeah i just wanted to make sure that i had good thumbnails for my videos and make it like kind of colorful or something like make it interesting so that people will want to click on my video the fourth thing was i made sure that i had a good profile picture so that way if i commented on other people's videos say i was like oh my gosh i loved your video so much then if i commented on their video someone else might see my comment and they're like oh they look like they have a channel um, maybe I should click on it. So if I were you and I was starting the channel, I'd recommend having a good profile picture and banner. So that is pretty much the same thing. If someone clicks on your channel and they see that you don't have a good profile picture or banner and it's like all fuzzy, they're going to be like, oh, should I really subscribe to them? Like, I don't know. So yeah, that brings me into my fifth thing, which is make sure, and I did not know this at first, make sure your whole like channel setup is good good so I didn't know this but whenever you're going on YouTube and you click a person's channel if you don't have a set like thing for the very first thing that you see like your home like screen that you click on it won't show anything it'll say that you have no content available and like no one's gonna be able to see it so what you do is you can look up videos for this too I'll try to link one down below if I can find a good one but like the very first thing you have to set it you have to edit it and you can either do a trailer or you can set it to where it like shows all your uploads or it shows a certain playlist that you want to see i don't have a trailer on mine i did i just used my room tour video but you can also make a trailer for it 
So that's what I would, I would highly recommend doing this because if someone clicks on your channel and they see it and the first thing they see is that you don't have any content, they're not even going to click on the little video section. They're just going to be like, oh, this person only had like one video. They don't have any, like anything else. So it's kind of hard to explain this one, but like it's really important. And if like there's a section, if you're on YouTube, you'll see it. There's a section on when you first click it, especially if you're on like a laptop or like the desktop version and you'll see it and it'll be like where you can put just your uploads. And I will insert a picture of what mine looks like right here when you first click on it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And I will try to find a video link and link it down below to show you what I'm talking about. The sixth thing is be consistent and have a set schedule, especially if you're a new YouTuber. And I'm saying this like I've been on YouTube for years, but I've literally been on it for like a month. But I've learned so much since I've been on YouTube in this like little bit of time. And I already knew this before because I was planning on making a YouTube channel like three years ago and it just finally worked out to where this is my set channel. So. Make sure you're consistent and make sure you have set days. I post every Wednesday and Saturday, hopefully. I post at least once a week. You need to do that. If you can post more than once a week, I mean, that's even better because you'll have more videos out, more people will see your videos, and in the long run, you'll get more subscribers. So that's my other thing, just be consistent and make sure you have set days that you post and try to post more than once a week. Okay, number seven. For like my seventh tip I would say what I like to do is I like to respond to all my comments or at least pretty much all my comments because my channel is still small so I can like still see everybody's comment and respond to them so that's what I do so I'll take a set day and I would just sit there and respond to everybody's comment on like each one of my videos and I feel like if you do that it'll make people be like oh they're taking the time to respond to my comments like that's a good person that's a good channel so that's one thing that I would suggest doing if you do have a channel especially if you're not a big channel and you don't have a lot of comments to like look through I don't know it just I would feel some type of way if you didn't respond to my comment the eighth thing would be to use tags whenever you upload a video there's a little section and it tells you like you can put little hashtags and you don't see it in the description box in your video it's just like a thing you put and make sure you hashtag things related to your video or search up whatever video you're posting and see what the popular like titles are and put that in your video like put that under the tag section say you're doing a makeup video you could put like hashtag um, glitter eyeliner since I did that hashtag makeup hashtag beauty guru like all that stuff but don't overfill it and don't put like popular youtubers names because you could get in trouble for that and you don't want that to happen that brings me into <laughs> my ninth tip try not to use copyrighted music I like to use only instrumentals or if I do end up using regular music like in my song video I will only use I don't even like to do this I will only use 20 seconds of that song and I will like split it up so I'll take 20 minutes to and take 20 seconds from here I just spit 15 seconds from this part, maybe 10 seconds from there. I try not to even do 20. They say you can go all the way up to 30 seconds of a song, but I'm not about to get a copyright strike, so I don't I don't even do that. Background music, that it all relates. Like music, background music. If you have good background music, then I mean I would most likely stay on your channel. If you're doing a video and it doesn't need background music like a vlog, then don't add background music. My 10th tip, I think this will be my last one, is lighting. Everyone says this, every video that I've ever watched about like starting a YouTube channel, they said this and it's true. Make sure you have good lighting. I sit in front of a big picture window that's in my room and I get as much natural lighting as possible. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks bright. I have my camera set on like 800. I normally have it on auto, like brightness, everything. But sometimes it can be a little dim, so I have it set up one. If you don't have good lighting, no one's going to want to stay and watch your video. <laughs> like, if I see a video, I keep saying, I've said like about 10 times. 10 times, that's not even a lot. About. <laughs> oh my god. If you don't have good lighting, I'm most likely not going to stay and watch your video. I'm going to be like, um, I can't even see what she's doing. So, I. <laughs> that's a big one another thing that I did to kind of get more subscribers was I did put stuff on my social medias I actually didn't want to do this at first I didn't want anyone to know about my channel like I wanted no one at my school to know I had a YouTube channel at all 
But like the second video that I did, the one with Kennedy, it was like, oh my god, we're about to make a YouTube video. Put it on Snapchat. People were like, oh my god, she has a channel. I'm like, no, no, I don't. I don't have a channel. No, 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 no. But you actually do need to put your stuff on social media because it'll help you grow even faster. Your friends or even people that don't even know you that go to your school will be like, I've seen her around. She has a YouTube channel. Let me go check it out. Like, I... That's what's kind of happened to me. People are just like, oh, she has a YouTube channel. And then they go look and then they, some of them subscribe. And I'm like, okay, okay, thank you. So that's a big thing. Make sure you do put it on your social medias. Even if you don't want to, just go for it. Because if you really do want those views and you do want more subscribers and you want more people to see what you're putting out, that's one of the best things to do. Have your friends post it for you. You post it like your family, your mom, your dad, your aunt, like anybody. <laughs> that was my main thing on how I kind of gained my little 300 subscribers was social media. This is just like a little added one. Make sure your background looks nice. My background doesn't look too nice, but I mean, I do have some little twinkly lights back there. Like it's aesthetically pleasing or whatever. So I don't know. Make sure your background is appealing, I guess. So I think that's my last thing. If I have any more tips, I'll try to make a part two to this video later on. If I gain more subscribers, I'll do another video like this on what I've learned throughout my YouTube experience and everything. Okay, so that was the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the bell so that you can turn on my post notifications so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video, like whenever I post. Share this video. I never say this. If you like think this could help any of your friends or whatever, share the video because I don't know just trying to be helpful I think that's it and before I go I just want to say I know I've only been on YouTube for a little bit so I don't know everything that there is to know about YouTube this is just what I've learned from my little month and yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys to maybe help you so I just wanted to say that to make sure that you're like oh my god she thinks she knows everything about YouTube no I don't think that I know everything about YouTube it's just, I've been studying this since I was 12, so <laughs> I think I know a little bit. That's it. If you want to watch some of my other videos or like subscribe to my channel, then there'll be a little um, thing that's about to pop up right now where you can click it. You can click one of these, this one or the little subscribe that's right there. Okay, it's going to pop up right now. <laughs>